What's up guys, Insane Driver. Today I want to talk about implied pulse. Now, the word implied obviously means something that can happen that doesn't necessarily happen uh, obviously, right? And pulse is something that's constant, a beat that's constant, okay? So, implied pulse means when you're implying the pulse without exactly playing the pulse. Now, of course, you have to be used to the pulse, which would just be... In the first place, to know how to imply that without playing it. Kind of complicated, I know. Um, basically, this is the base of everything, right? For most music. And then, we advance it by using ghost notes. And just more notes, period. Adding in more sixteenths. Um, and then opening high, opening the hi-hat for more color. And different accents. So those are all videos all on their own, um, adding those into a groove. But uh, the concept of implying the pulse is an interesting one. Because what it means is you have to play in that bass, that bass pulse, long enough to have that in your head. That is now in your head, it no longer rests in the drums. And that's what the end result that you want from drums anyways is. And fills kind of help teach you this, because fills take you away from your pulse, right? Right, so you're no longer playing when you're going. You can if you want to sound like somebody who just learned their fills, right? But if you want to sound more sophisticated, you don't put that at bass drum on the quarters. You put it in different places because you can keep that beat in your head. Hear the pulse, but not play it. Example, there's the pulse. I'm playing the pulse now. Implying it, okay? And what drummers will do is they'll use that um, to create interest because it'll throw people off. They'll be like, wait a minute, you're not on the beat anymore, but you're still on the beat. How does that work? Okay, so it's an advanced concept. Normally, musically, we do this at the end of a beat to kind of give it interest. coming on the beat and coming off the beat, but technically I'm still there somewhere. I'm just not on the down beats, the quarter notes. So I should talk about how do you imply the pulse. Well, you imply the pulse by playing on something other than the down beat. Like an and. Exiting the pulse. That was on the ands, alright? I was accenting the ands and the pulse. It would take more than one video for me to actually explain how you can achieve implied pulse in your grooves. But basically, understand the main concept that you get your groove going in your head, you keep it going in your head, but you syncopate it somehow by either playing on the ands, the es, the uhs, um, syncopated rhythms outside of just downbeats, okay? Maybe I'll do a follow-up video on how to actually play it in Pod Pulse, but uh, this video kind of explains what it is and uh, kind of gets your mind thinking in that outside-of-the-box drumming area that doesn't always have to do with inside the pulse. I know it's a revolutionary, crazy idea to think that you could actually drum outside of accenting a pulse, but you can. You don't necessarily get paid for it, but as a drummer, it's very important to know how to play with time, how to play with the downbeat, how to know when to go in and out of the, the main pulses, the downbeats, 
And, and sometimes that can really give the music a lot of interesting meaning that wouldn't be there otherwise. Thanks, guys. Hope you learned something about Implied Pulse. And uh, go check it out on your drums and send me a video maybe trying to um, do this concept. Thanks.